And a very good afternoon, good morning, welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. It is Saturday afternoon, isn't it? Yes, it's Saturday. The weekend is here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, we have got a day packed full of fun for you here on Crafters TV. Uh, first of all, must just say a big thank you to uh, the people following my Facebook page for once again dressing me today. Um, I'm giving you a vote each and every day as to uh, which. Uh, Christmas jumper you'd like me to wear. Today it was Sprouts or Ghostbusters and uh, Ghostbusters won. This is the, the, the new jumper for 2020. Yeah, who are you going to call? Craftbusters! Uh, we have got loads on the show for you today. This show is all about your edgeables, all right? So if you've got any edgeable dies or if you're a little bit confused about how they work or which edgeable is different to which edgeable, because there's so many different edgeables. If you double-sided edgeables, you normal normally, I mean, there's so many. We're gonna go through all of them over the course of this show. So if you've got any questions, anything that you wanna ask, anything that you wanna share with us as well during the course of the show, feel free to do that. You can get social with us on Facebook and on YouTube. There you go. And um, also you can send in any pictures uh, to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Or is it .com? .co.uk. Now I'm not here alone. I am delighted to say that I'm here with one of my absolute faves. It's Craig! You say that every single time. I mean it. Every single time true. you say that. It's true. Oh, I kind of feel a bit left out not in my Christmas jumper, well, you know. What am I doing? You know, obviously I am doing this for a good cause. You are. This is just the first time you're catching this week. Uh, from the 1st to the 7th of uh, December, it's Crohn's and Colitis Awareness Week. So each show I have been wearing purple. This is my last Crafters TV show of this week. So next week when I'm back, I will be in full Christmas mode with my Christmas jumpers, my Christmas t-shirts. I might actually even do what Ben's done and I'll give you a bit of a poll each show that I'm on as to what you can wait. I remember you Copycat! Copier! Uh, <coughs> Copy! Hey, Sorry, got a bit of coffee. you're getting the numbers so <laughs> I'm just going to tag along with you there. Uh, I think I need a couple of new tops and then what we'll do is we'll do a, a bit of uh, a play along and you can choose. I'm, I'm well up for that because you know what I felt uh, it's the fourth is it the fourth or fifth of December today? Fifth of December fifth. today. I, I just feel like I'm the only one sort of bringing the Christmas you know jumper love to the, the channel so if you can join as well Craig that would be good. Oh, I, I will be. Like I say, if, if it was just because it's Awareness Week, otherwise, I would have, if I could get away with that, I would have worn my jumper back in November when it comes to Christmas. But yeah, we will. We'll do that next week. But then, talking about next week, talking about this week, this week, we've got something at Ben's just a way to show you right now. I certainly have. Um, this Christmas decoration. Um, it is our uh, Christmas deck for 2020. Loads of you have already bought this, so a big thank you to those of you that have. Um, because it's quite a special little decoration. If I just bring the uh, the bush into the picture here. So this is the decoration that you can grab for $5.99 or $8.99. Any two for £10 or $15. It's really cool. It is in our Crafters colours. Um, it's got Crafters Companion 2020 written on it. And the, cra the stocking is um, jam-packed full of little crafty goodies. You've got a little glue gun in there. You've got some scissors, a little pokey tool, um, cardstock. It's brilliant. And the great thing is... This is going to look amazing on your tree, but also all profits from this will go to the Bradley Lowry Foundation. Uh, again, a charity which we've been supporting right throughout the year here at um, Crafters Companion. If you want to find out more about it, uh, then of course you can go to our website. There is a page dedicated to it and you can read about uh, Bradley. Also, just to mention, it is our Triple Points event as well. We are continuing that up until the end of play tomorrow. So this is your chance to get involved and get triple points. So for every pound or dollar you spend, you'll get uh, three points as opposed to the normal one. So basically, it's a great opportunity to maybe um, maintain your platinum status, move up into the next bracket, and whatever you end on this year, of course, will roll over into next year. So if you end this year platinum, you will then stay platinum for next year. So it's a great opportunity to get some shopping in 
and earn all of those um, extra points as well. Only up until end of play tomorrow. Uh, so get shopping with us. That is what I have to tell you. Right. Another thing I have to mention is that uh, these collections, the Peekaboos, are proving very, very popular indeed. Um, now, we thought we'd show you these quickly at the top of the show because we don't have as much stock on these as we would like. So, seeing as you're getting such a tremendous deal on this, £26 or $37 down from $44.94 or $62.70 and getting triple points, I would urge you to get in quite quickly. I love these collections because what they give you the ability to do is take your favourite animal and uh, put him in a little peekaboo style, you see, looking through the card over the top of the window. And the brilliant thing with this particular bundle is you are also going to get with it... Where's he gone? There he is. You're also going to get with it, which you don't always get with this bundle, uh, the little window die as well. So you've got the ability to make a little um, semicircle window there, as you can see, or a little square window. So you get the dies to be able to create the aperture to get your little uh, creature peeking over the top. And as you can see, the stamps that you've got give you the back and the front here of the cat, for example. And then you've got loads of cute little sentiments in there as well. So you have got in this Peekaboo cat. You've also got Peekaboo dog. Producer Laura's doing the sound effects on me here today. Yesterday, yesterday it was Fiona from the other side of the studio. Uh, yeah, yesterday, yeah, yesterday Fiona was doing it, Craig. Come on. Uh, next up, we've got, <laughs> can't wait for this one, Peekaboo elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just do it again with the, just, just do it again. I, I, I actually done the hand movements as well. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, next up, <laughs> look at it, it's cute. Peekaboo bear. Roar. Roar. Like a Gri dragon or dinosaur. Grizzly. Uh, and you're also going to get. I can't wait for this. Peekaboo Bunny. <laughs> uh, so that, that is your, uh, your main collection that you're going to get with your um, aperture die as well to be able to create the peekaboo effect. Now. We also have one other animal who's available individually. However, he is limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means... It soon won't be seen. And that is Peekaboo Giraffe Craig. That, I don't know what a giraffe <laughs> is. <laughs> I'll let you off. Um, so, if you want to go for the giraffe individually, then go swiftly. If you just want to buy this today, you can also uh, go for the, um, the window individually as well. Um, but go for this swiftly if you want it, because he is limited £4 or five fifty today. Wild about you. Um, that is an absolute steal, so do not miss out on that today. All of the peekaboos, actually, are very, very busy. Um, so get those whilst you can. Right. Any questions about edibles today, do get them in because I, I, I know you will have them. Um, the first one we want to show you, the first collection, are um, your modern edibles. Now, these are proving very, very popular indeed. So what they give you the opportunity to do is to create um, lots of detail and um, lots of kind of uh, design, if you like, on the edges of your cars. Hence edibles um, and these are just absolutely brilliant it's a six piece collection um, which is going to bring to you all of the following you've got here uh, your cascading circles you're then going to be getting these beautiful beautiful um, hearts as well the heart confetti i'll show you some little cards in just a second so you can get a bit of an idea of this as well you're also going to get here um, your elegant rose then you've got in the collection the beautiful balloons Kind of something for everyone in this collection as well. I always sometimes think with, you know, these edibles perhaps, you know, that they go a little bit more on the sort of serious side. But the fact you've got some balloons in here as well, just brilliant. Great too, like um, if you're into your paper piecing also, these are brilliant. You've got your, um, your butterflies in there as well. And then last but by no means least, kind of going down the fun angle once again, you have got um, your cupcakes too. And this is the kind of thing that you can achieve with these. Just so cool, aren't they? Giving you kind of more dimension and more detail um, in your cards. Again, if you want to go kind of into your cards, you can look at that, the beautiful hearts there you've got. 
Uh, and then from something which is quite fun and funky to something which is super, super romantic. Look at that. And again, I love that, you know, not having to use particularly any colour there at all, just the cut itself giving you that absolutely glorious rose down the edge of the card there. Uh, again, going down the fun angle, love this with those balloons piecing back in a bit of colour into the balloons to give those a little bit of a uh, little bit of a sparkle and a little bit of fun. And then once again, just giving you some more ideas here, these gorgeous cupcakes. I love this collection, as I say, because it gives you the ability to have um, something a little bit fun and funky and you've got something a little bit more serious in there as well if you want it. 31.96 or 55.80 is your price. Uh, 15.98 is saving or 27.90, triple points as well. Remember, you can shop and watch at the same time. Uh, if you go to our website, you can see everything that you need there. Must just say hello to um, Lil Craft. Uh, it says hi from a sunny but cold North Yorkshire. Uh, Georgianne from Clearwater, Florida. Rachel from Adelaide, South Australia. Laurie from Ohio. Anna Louise from New York. And Crafty AJ from Blackburn. Uh, just before we go back over to Craig, uh, and we get started on the masterclass. Not only do we want your pictures and your questions today, but we also uh, want to know about your advent calendars. Now, I know the majority of you will have um, the advent calendar that we did here at, at Crafts Companion, but we also want to know what other advent calendars you've got. Uh, you know, whether you've got something a little bit different. Most people get chocolate in their advent calendar, don't they? What have you got in yours? What have you opened up and found behind door number five today? Uh, sadly, I don't have one. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? Sad. Uh, so, you know, share the love with me so I can experience the joy of what it must be like uh, to open up door number five. Craig, what was behind your door today? Mine was, well, usually I have three. Yeah. Three? Three. How do you have three? So, I you, know, You want to donate one to me? So usually I have my Milky Bar white chocolate, my Crafter's Companion. Yeah. And a certain candle brand, Yankee right. Candle. Yeah. So this year I've just got my Crafter's Companion and my Milky Bar. So mine was a little Santa Claus behind my uh, chocolate one. Yeah. Behind my Crafter's Companion one. I don't know yet because if you've been following me, I've been opening mine at 8 p.m. here at night live on my Facebook. So if you want to join me, all the details are across there. So we'll find out later on what's behind door number five of our Crafters Companion There one. you go. Nice little plug for that coming up a little bit later on. Um, so let's get started then with these edibles. So the Modern Shaped Edible Collection. Um, just, just talk about these, Craig, um, as a whole, first of all, because we've got so many different edible collections. Um, just explain the edible technology on these for me. We do. So all the edibles we've got on today's show are uh, going to show you not necessarily a different concept, but a different way, a different look. So what we're going to focus on now is that nice, elegant, but fun party kind of quirky look yeah. with the balloons or maybe that nice rose. We've got the double sided ones, which then really pushes out that detail because what you can do is double layer them because they're double sided dies. Then later on, we've also got kind of like the, uh, not the modern one, but like the elegance ones. Yeah. Where they're also very, very detailed but they're not double-sided. So they're just kind of like our normal die-cut in uh, technique-wise. But what these do straight away, because they're called edgeables, you can then die-cut them on the edge of your card to give you that really nice edge on the side of your card. But then have a play with them because they're going to go through many of them, depending on your card size. They're going to go through your Gemini Junior. They'll go through your MIDI. But if you want to do big cards, if you want to make frames with them, put them through your large Gemini. Obviously, they work best with our Gemini because Gemini and Crafters Companion and our dies. However, any die cut machine you've got out there, it will go through them, no problem at all. So each collection, they bring a different kind of, uh, a different look and a different style. So throughout the two hours, what we're going to do is we'll show you a few different ways using each of them. So starting off with the uh, modern, what we're going to do is I've taken a card blank. We're doing a bit of a different style on this one, just to show you again there it is another way. So this would have been a 5x5 five five card blank, but what I've done is I have just used a bit of a larger card, because what I've done on this one, you can see here, I've uh, done my hinge, but I've done my hinge just at the corner just here. So I have used a larger bit of cards. So I'm going to move it just out of the way there. We've got just so we can see the bit of the glare just there. So there is our hinge just at that diagonal. Yeah. And then what I've also done is just put a score line diagonally across. So this is then going to create our easel card. But what it does, I'm going to come close up for you to see, is it creates our easel card in our point 
right within the centre. So you can see just there. So that is giving you that different kind of look as well. So let's pop that one to the side. I'm then just going to bring in some cardstock. So I've got a piece of red cardstock just here, which this one is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And we're going to use the elegant rose. Now, while you were speaking earlier on there, Ben, uh, Laura and Ari, we've got Laura and uh, George in the gallery today. Laura said these would be perfect for paper piecing. Mm. And this is exactly what I'm going to do with this one. It's paper piece. We're going to bring in the red, but we're going to bring in a bit of gold as well. Lovely. So what we can do, taking off the die. Now, what you'll be able to see straight there is we've got all this detail throughout the die. Now, this side, die cuts out. But this side here, it stays in place. We've kind of got a little notch down at the bottom, just where my finger is, or my pinky is, and another one there. So that's where your die cut edge starts and stops. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn this at an angle. So we can see just here, what I'm doing then is the little notch that you can see there, as well as the little, little notch down here, I'm just putting that in line with the corner of my cardstock. And then I'm just going to bring in my low tack tape and I'm just going to tape that in. So what's going to happen, if I just tape this, what will happen is because this side stays in place, we're going to be left with the red card here, but all this red card is going to uh, eliminate. That's going to come away. So that's where we're going to do the die cutting. And because of the size of this, this is going to go through our Gemini Junior. It will also go through our Gemini Midi as well. So we're just going to pop this one in. Same combination with many of our dies because it's just what I would say is our normal die. So it's our pla it's our um, cutting plate. It's then our plastic shim, magnetic shim, and then top cutting plate. So this is then going to come all the way out. And then if I then peel these ones away. Now I'm not too concerned if I tear my card because um, we don't need this top bit. So let's take that away. Then what we're going to do is let's bring in my little scissors I'm then just going to just finish off so just at the corner to that notch there mm. and then also at the corner to that notch there I'm just going to trim that away now that then let's bring in this bit of cardstock this ah. now gives me my rows that you can see here so we've got this side so I'll turn it that way so you can see it clearly up above so this all stays in place now this is then die cut away so this is what's going to be the edgeable part but again, we're going to do it in a slightly different way. So all these little bits here, you could be using them elsewhere, but I'm just going to uh, put them in the recycling for now. So what size card are you using there then? So on this bit here, so this one was uh, four and three quarters, the right. square of red card. Because um, Gilm was asking, are all edibles for five by seven cards? So, no, you can do them on any size. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep, so they will. Uh, the actual size of the die is uh, just six and a quarter inches. So you can, of course, do them on a card blank that is six and a quarter or six by six. Yeah. However, there's nothing stopping you doing, you know, a card that is seven by seven or eight by eight yeah. or five by seven. You know, you're just going to do what I done a moment ago and you're just going to trim yourself that excess bit. So you can do it all different ways, all different sizes. You showed a few. I'll also show you a few when, uh, when we're finished, Ben. I'm just going to take my tool, taking any of these excess bits out here and then what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to bring in my gold card and I'm going to tape this one in and run it through again now I don't need this for any specific reason other than I actually want all these little bits mm. that are going to come out I want to keep a hold of them so we're just going to run this one through exactly the same see I think with this demo as well you are going to be answering Kelly's question because um, Kelly's kind of asking about um, paper piecing with these and hers is, uh, questions is specific to the balloons which is in this set she says how do you paper piece the back without them looking horrible and I, I guess you're going to tackle that now aren't you I will tackle mm. that just in a moment so we've die cut the rows so before I just remove that because we do need to be careful ever so slightly let's bring this one back in so we've brought a rose and then I'm just going to mat and layer that on a bit of ivory card here so this ivory card is five by five so it's a quarter of an inch bigger so I'm going to bring in either your tacky glue, which you've got within your little uh, tube, or a dotty tape runner, or of course you can use your sprays if you wanted to. Dotty tape runners are best because you've got all this fine detail, which means your adhesive dots are only going to go onto where you want them to go. 
And if you are quite new to us or quite new to Adhesive, myself and Ben, we done a masterclass the okay. other day on, uh, called it Glue School, all about the different adhesives. So any of our shows, you can always go back on YouTube and re-watch them. Thursday at one, that wasn't it? It was, mm. wasn't it? Yeah. So I'm just going to just stick that one down and I'm just going to straighten this one up, just like this one. So if I straighten that one up, now that gives us a rose that's nicely coming down. And what it also does is this now gives me a backdrop to stick all of my little die cut pieces in. So we're just going to just press that and secure that. So then what we're going to do is let's remove this one. I'm going to be slightly careful, but I don't want all of them to fall out. A few of them will, but just keep a hold of them because you'll soon know where they need to go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just at the side, just here, I'm going to take this top bit of tape off. Now, for obviously time and speed, I'm not going to do this whole lot. I've got one done, but I am going to show you how you can start to uh, do your paper piece in. So just using my pokey tail, this is how I like to do it. Yeah. I just like to pop them all out onto my glass mat. I kind of keep it still because what will happen is then that then gives me that guide. When I remove this away, it starts to still it roughly keeps that rose into into place i know i'll still need them so i'm going to pop them to the side and then it's just like a little jigsaw yeah so if you have got your um, tacky glue in your little tub that works well if you have got either something like a quickie glue pen which is just a really fine tipped pen basically but with glue in it or you know you also get your sticks to ones as well which is exactly the same any of these sorts of ones that's got your fine tip point on the end, these are going to work great. Perfect. Alternatively, what you can also do is if you like our double-sided adhesive sheets, hunky dories, uh, double-sided adhesive sheets, you could have placed this onto one of those double-sided adhesive sheets. And then when these die cut out, you're just going to peel the backing off and they're all adhesive. So there is a few different ways in which you can uh, adhere them to the centre bit. But all that I'm going to do is I am just going to use my uh, my uh, little uh, fine nozzle yeah. from my tacky glue. And all that I'm just doing is just in the little parts, I'm just, just roughly just adding a bit of glue. I'm not going edge to edge in all these little bits because what will happen is the glue will spread. And if you've seen glue school, you'll have seen us say how when you pop the tacky glue on, just leave it for a moment or two mm -hmm. just for it to become tacky. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm just starting to uh, pop all that with a bit of glue. I know it's very hard to see because it's white on ivory, but you get the gist. And then what you can do is either with your pokey tool for the little fine bits or these larger bits, you can just use your fingers. I'm just going to place them back into place. So I'm just going to press that one in. I'm going to move that end bit just in. And then it's literally just the case of picking all these up and we're just placing them back in. So this is where I say it's just like a little jigsaw. Yeah. So we're just working our way in. Um, Gilmore saying, looks uh, like that gold foil rose that you cut out would make a nice bookmark out of the negative. Yeah, great idea. I thought that actually when Craig pulled it away, like the, yep. the negative of it looked, um, looked amazing. Um, Josie Mitchell on YouTube saying, would the gold card and rose edgeable go through the midi? It'll go through the MIDI, no yep. problem at all. It'll go through all of our machines. The only thing you need to keep in mind is the size of the card that you're yes. using. So for instance, what I just done here with the rows, because we only wanted it on a little panel, this would go even go through your mini, your really small machine. You know, it just depends on the card stock. Other than that, they will go through any of your machines. Um... Yeah, and uh, lots of uh, lots of messages coming in about advent calendars as well, just whilst uh, Craig is piecing that together. We're, we're, we're looking at um, advent calendars that you've got this year. We know that the majority of you have got the Crafters Companion advent calendar, so that's amazing. Obviously, you know, don't be telling everyone else what's behind the door because they might not have opened it yet. But what other advent calendars have you got? That's what we want to know. And how many have you got as well? Craig's got three. Uh, I usually have three. Oh, right, just, yes. Just the two this just year. Two. Well, he usually has three, but he's only, he's only got two this year. Oh, he's only got two. I haven't got one. Oh. Uh, producer Laura's got three. George? George just got the one, so I'm the only one who's, who's not got any. 
Um, I also just wanted to chat quickly whilst Craig's doing that about, uh, it was Kelly who was asking about the modern edgeable um, balloons, paper piecing uh, those. I think it looks like, Craig will probably tell me, it looks like on the, the back of that, it's just a piece of acetate that's holding those, um, those balloons in. It is, that, spot on. That's it it then, is it? just a little bit of acetate that's holding that back bit on. Yeah. So you're just having a look, whether it's cardstock or if you are wanting to have it so it's kind of like the surrounding area see-through, then just use some acetate. So there we go. Hopefully that has answered that for you, uh, Kelly. This is this is phenomenal. This is um, really, really gorgeous. And I love the way that you've kind of used the edgeable slightly differently, haven't you? I have, yeah. I've used it in a different kind of way. What I want to show you as well is, I'm not going to do this all because uh, I've got one already done where I've just done the leaves. But I also wanted to show you is these tiny, tiny little bits. You'll have maybe seen it do, do it in the center of this rose. Yeah. Tiny little bits. Use your pokey tool. If you have a bit of trouble with your fingers or your hands, use your pokey tool. And all that I'm just doing is I'm just dabbing the end of my pokey tool onto, uh, into the glue. And then all that I'm just doing is I'm just picking it up with my pokey tool that you can see that there. And then I'm just popping it into place. So your larger ones are uh, really easy just to use with your fingers. But if you've got any really small bits, then you're just going to just tap your pokey tool into your glue. And that enables you, it's kind of like a, a picker upper, so to speak, for that one. But then as you said, Ben, this would work really, really well for uh, a bookmark or something. Yeah. So you can even then just trim that bottom bit up to there and even that top bit, leave it like this, pop it onto a bit of cardstock or something. You've got a really nice fine edgeable or if you like Gorgeous. to fussy cut like me, do a bit of fussy cutting and that's another part, another component that you can use. But if I then just bring in this one oh, that I'd already wow. done. So I just carried on and I just popped in the leaves and I just done the stem as well. So just come all the way around that you can see just there. So let's move these ones out the way and we can start to assemble this. I'm not going to throw them out, I'm going to keep them and I can do that again later on at home so we don't waste them. So then this time we're now bringing in a bit of black cardstock again which is increased by a quarter of an inch when it comes to our guillotine so that's going to be five and a quarter. Let's just use our tape runner for this one and we're going to go straight over the top like so. And this is where, and I know I'm starting to repeat myself, Ben, because I say this a lot, but don't be scared to use black. Black is such a really standout colour to use on any of your projects. And it certainly works really well with red and gold that yeah, you can see here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a start of our easel card that we've done. Now I'm just going to add adhesive onto this bottom part just here. If I was to pop adhesive all over, then what's going to happen is our uh, actual panel, that will stick to the back here and it won't open. So I'm just going to open this one up and then again, just this front panel, we're just going to add our adhesive. This looks like it's going to be a card that if you were like making these to sell, that you could sell this one for about... 50 quid. <laughs> you know what Absolutely. I mean? It looks really expensive, doesn't it? Very, very, very classy. classy. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I'm looking at the corner of my eye with the bits that I've done. I've used one bit of black card. I've, that, that's one A4 sheet. One A4 sheet of red card and two ivory, two sheets of ivory A4 card and about half a bit of gold card, yeah. gold mirror, and that's it. So we've not really used a lot whatsoever. And as you said, you know, look how elegant and decadent that it looks. 50 quid at least. P possibly, at least. possibly. I reckon. That's what I'd sell it for. Yeah, you, yeah. but you know what? Well, you know, you can come to my stall anytime <laughs> when I'm going to be making cards. If you're, if you're willing to fork out 50 quid for a card, then phew, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> So then what I've just done here is I've just taken a bit of black card, which is also originally the same size as my card blank, but all that I've just done is I just trimmed along the back just so it fits into our card base. And I've just done a triangle with the red card there. So let's just use our tape and we're just going to attach these ones on as well. So let's just work our way. Now you could come along and if you've got little accents, if you've got our our sparkle pens, or what about our glitter pens that you own a Oh had, yeah, they were brilliant. Add little detail, or alternatively, instead of paper piecing, what about colouring them in? Yeah. Using them as a, an element to colour in, you could be doing that if you wanted to. So have a look, whether you're a beginner, you can really make really 
gorgeous cards. Or if you're more advanced, you are your craft room or your craft area jam packed full with craft or companion goodies. Or any other uh, company's products, you can start to add them. Um, oh, and I oh, got lost a me. technical gremlin with his mic, I think. Can we? Uh, I tell you what. We'll have a look at a few comments and we'll, uh, we'll try and get him sorted out. I think he's got a loose connection um, over there. There's loads of comments coming in, actually. Talking about advent calendars today, um, Susan on Facebook says, uh, I also have a planner advent and today was candy cane striped washi. Well, that's always quite handy to have, isn't it? Candy cane striped as well. Brilliant for this time of year. Uh, Michelle on Facebook, my son and I have five advent calendars. Five advent calendars, Lego and chocolate for him. I was saying to the guys before the show, actually, I bought my son a Lego uh, calendar a few years ago and um, still paying the loan back now. Um, it's Lego and chocolate for him. Wine, cheese and chocolate for me. I mean, Michelle, that if you're going to do advent properly, I mean, wine, cheese and chocolate, get in there. That is brilliant. Uh, even the cat has an advent calendar. The cat? You got one with the cat? Wow. Even Michelle's cat's got an advent calendar. I don't have one. Um, you watch now, all our lovely Crafters TV viewers are going to send me in an advent calendar. This time next year I'll have about 50. Um, are, you, are you all right now? I, I think I'm good. Can you hear me? All yeah. good? All good to go? Uh, yeah, between you getting advent calendars and uh, Joe getting Valentine's cards uh, come February after our show the other day, yeah. gosh, our mailroom's going to be jam-packed, that's for Why sure. Why is he getting Valentine's cards? Because he said he never gets any. He had a few admirers the other day. Did he? He did, yeah. And then as soon as one started, they all came in. He was doing a bit of blushing, Aww. talking about Valentine's. So I uh, wait to see, he's probably uh, going to get a jam-packed full, sack full of Valentine's cards this year. Next year. What would you rather then? Valentine's cards or chocolate filled advent calendars? Valentine's. What? Advent calendars. Well, like, I, I get an advent calendar every year. I don't oh. get a Valentine's. Oh, now come on. Now come, I'll send you one. Please. <laughs> I, I did actually, yeah. What's that? I, yeah, I, I got a couple sent just this year here. I, I, I got a couple with the, the, the question mark at the bottom that I genuinely still do not know who that they're from. Whoa. They're obviously from some lovely viewers. Wow. Still don't know who they're from. Well, so if, you, yeah. if you want to send any um, Valentine's cards this year to your favourite uh, guys here on the channel, uh, Craig is uh, uh, Craig, Craig Laird, PO Box, Scotty Hottie, uh, UK. There you go. <laughs> oh. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Um, have you finished? Your, no, no, I've lost no not oh, yet. Yeah, I'm still going. No, I've lost track of what we're doing. Still going. Not much to go yet, but we're still going. So then what I've just done is I added that bottom panel just to the bottom that you can see here. Then all that I'm just going to do is I've taken just one of our quirky sentiment stamps and just stamped that out as well. And we're going to bring in our trusted foam pads. And we're just going to lift it up because we're doing a, an easel card we just need a bit of lift just for uh what's going to be the stopper yeah this is then going to create the stopper for our card so we're just going to take our backings off this one can then pop just into the middle there i've taken some die cut co uh, corners now these ones here uh, these come from uh, well there's a few options you could use you could use uh, the corners that come within your uh, starter box with your gemini junior or your gemini large machine yeah you've got some corners and that so you could be using them and then let me just take another couple that i've done i've already just popped these ones onto my um i use these with uh, what i've got left of my xyron machine so i'm just going to pop them ones there and there and then that's all that i'm going to do Amazing. with that one so again because this is lifted this is then going to create the stopper like that. So if I turn it around, and then because you've got a lot of depth to it when it comes to the amount of uh, card layers you've done. However, because it's all uh, on one level using our tape, it will still go nicely into an envelope. That is pretty special, isn't it? Um, June saying, Ben, does Craig know how clever he is? Do you, he knows, I tell him all the time. I tell him all the time, he is brilliant, he is brilliant. Um, I don't know if we can quickly recap on this, um, but Diane is asking how you made the diamond shaped um, card blank. Can so the diamond shape, mm. so if I bring this one back in again, so I'd done this on a larger piece of cardstock, so it was actually on uh, a piece of uh, A3 cardstock. 
So what I'd actually done, so I'd taken A3 cardstock, I folded the A3 cardstock in half, so I'm trying to do it because it's harder for you to see because we've got this back panel on. So we've got the A3 cardstock in half and then I just used another 5x5 five five card uh, base as a template yeah. and I just popped it up to the side as if it's like here sticking over and then I just cut all the way around to create my own one. Um, there we go. 31.96 or 55.80 for this collection. Triple points, don't forget, as well, up until the end of play tomorrow, so don't miss out. Lots of lovely comments still coming in. Um, to, uh, to Susan saying, OMG, Ben, this is so far the favourite Christmas sweater. Thank you for that. Um, and there's lots more coming in about to advent calendars as well, uh, which we'll chat more about in just a little bit. Just to recap on the, um, the Modern Shaped Edgeables to show you what exactly you are going to get, because obviously we were focusing on the rose there. You are also going to get, with this collection, um, your cascading circles, which look a little bit, well I say a little bit, a lot like that. How cool are those? Work beautifully, don't they, with that little uh, bottle of bubbly on the front of the card there. You're then also going to get these beautiful hearts. Uh, and again, that's the kind of thing that you can achieve. That's why I love this collection. As I say, it's a little bit of everything. Lots of different designs, lots of different ideas for you. There's that gorgeous rose that we just saw Craig's amazing demo with just there. And again, on this card that I showed you a little bit earlier on, very simply just cut into that white cardstock on the side of the card, but doesn't it look absolutely amazing? Uh, you've then also got those balloons, which are fantastic. Again, cut into the um, edge of the cardstock there, paper piece that um, beautiful cardstock in, like Craig was saying, just a bit of acetate on the back of there to hold those in and make them look uh, nice and neat and tidy, which is gorge. Um, you've then got those beautiful butterflies included as well. And then last, but by no means least, You've got the, um, the cupcakes too, which are just absolutely brilliant. As a collection, I think that is great. Uh, and again, you can see how easy it is to achieve some fantastic results. 31.96 or 55.80. Less, of course, your discount if you are a Club Inspire member. Um, and it comes down 20% if you're platinum. Triple points as well, so do not miss out. Um, quick note to some of the other goodies that we've got on the show as well. Uh, your lace edgeables. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm missing one board here, and I've got a feeling um, producer Laura was giving me loads of cards earlier to show to you. I think I've missed up, uh, messed up with the cards. Anyway, let's have a look at the boards. A third of the stock of these has gone. It's a six-piece collection where you're going to get, uh, with this, your uh, traditional lace. You're also going to get uh, this gorgeous ornate henna as well. I mean, really, really traditional, um, intricate, um, dies that you've got with this collection then you're also going to receive with this your uh, which one is this this is your heartfelt wishes again with the gorgeous hearts into the side of the um, card there then you've got the uh, butterfly lace again you can see just how stunning this is and how easy it is to achieve such gorgeous detail you know on the sides of your cards on the um the, the top of your cards as well your tent fold just so many things that you can do then you've got your um edwardian rose again have a look at that the detail that you've got of all of those beautiful roses across the edge of your card and then last but by no means least uh, you have got your venetian scrolls again just gorgeous 1797 is that for all of them? Se $17.98. You're saving 42 quid nearly, or you're saving twice as much as you're spending. That's ridiculous. I didn't realise that they were that, that, that price. That's, that is silly. No wonder a third of the stock has gone. No wonder. Se se I, $17.98 for all of them. All, well, you've got to get those. 25.11, less your 20% discount and triple points. What are you waiting for? Come on. Now, also, as far as your edibles are concerned, we've got your double-sided edibles. Now, I will show you these and then we'll chat more to um, Craig about them in more detail in just a little while. But these are very clever for the fact that they're going to give you um, that amazing kind of edge detail, but the double-sided nature of these means you can pass them through your machine once, but you'll get two cuts um, of your die, allowing you to kind of build layers and depth and dimension, if you like, 
um, with your edibles. Now you will need something else if you're going to use these two, which we will um, come on to in just a few moments time because you can't use your standard plates with these. Uh, but we'll chat more about those in just a few moments. But this six piece collection is stunning. Again, huge savings to be had today with triple points, 31.18 or 35.98 you're saving. Um, and this is what you've got. You've got your dancing butterfly. So can you see, Craig will show you how all this works, but it's so clever. You've got one die with two different designs, if you like, to cut out the kind of detail and then um, the sort of backing, if you like, to be able to layer up to get this effect. Now, I, I guess if you want to, you could use these individually. You know, you don't have to always pair them up, but the point is it's time saving, it's accuracy, and it gives you something which looks absolutely beautiful. You've also got in here your pretty florals. Again, look at how that works brilliantly. One die, one pass, two cuts, and this is what you can achieve, layering these up to create some really eye-catching um, designs. Also in this collection, let's just um, show you some of the other cards. I'll get me cards in because you're going to get um, a lot more than just those two. So um, in this collection, you're going to get your um, heart-to-hearts, which are these ones here. Again, you can see uh, the two different uh, cuts that you've got there, giving you that really beautiful um, depth and dimension. You've got your dancing butterflies that we've seen. We've got your shining stars in here too. This one here is your um, peony, your flourishing vines? No, peony. I've got so many, hang on a minute, I need to get my glasses on. This is terrible, isn't it? This is terrible. Let's have a look here. Uh, this one is, the, oh dear, <laughs> which one is it? Fleur de Lis, there we go, got my glasses on, I still can't see. You got your Fleur de Lis. You're also gonna get with this, as I've said, your uh, pretty florals. You've got your, um, your garden border in here as well. This one is your dancing butterflies. As you can see again, two beautiful layers um, on the top there. Your diamond lattice, again, Take a look at this, again, in all of these um, different cards. Yeah, really, really versatile is what we're talking about here. Um, so you're getting all six of those within the collection for $72.94. As I've said though, if you're wanting to use these and you haven't got them already, you will need to go uh, for your double-sided plates. Now, depending on which machine you've got, uh, will depend on which plate you need to go for. So. You have got your um, junior um, details coming up there for you at the bottom of the screen. So twelve ninety nine or sixteen ninety five, eleven pound and four today, or fourteen forty. Triple points, don't forget as well. If you've got your larger Gemini, uh, then here is the plate for that one, sixteen ninety nine or twenty one twenty, and and you will need those again. We'll chat to Craig as for why in just a few moments. But if you haven't got those and you're thinking of buying just the double sided edibles. You will need to go for these, uh, lots of them being bought already today as well. So, Craig, let's talk about the uh, double-sided edibles and first of all, why we need to go for the extra plates if we're buying those. Right, Theo. So first and foremost, when it comes to our double-sided uh, range, because we've got other ones as well, double-sided is a word that I find it very hard to say. They are patent, 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 patent. patent. Patented. By us at Crafters Companion. I don't know why I can never say that word, I just can't. Which so word? You will only find that word I just said a moment ago. <laughs> you will only find double sided dies with us. Now, the reason that you need these extra plates as well, and I'll show you just the combination in a moment, is because it's a die on both sides. So you need real extra tough plates so that you're doing double sided, double, double sided cutting at once. So what we're going to then just do is in a moment, when we do this card again, we'll show you that, that idea, the concept of them just here. As Ben says, when it comes to the double sided dies, what you create technically, you are then die cutting once and you're getting two kind of designs that lay on top of each other. Anywhere else, what you would usually have to do is have two separate dies, die cut them separately, and then what you would need to do is layer them on. But as Ben says, for time, one pass through your Gemini, then you're going to be done good and uh, done and dusted. So for your Gemini Mini, you will need your 
Gemini mini plates. So these are your extra tough ones. So these are the ones for our Gemini and the fact is they've got Gemini written on the bottom. Please do not get these mixed up with your foil, pl foil press uh, plates because they are different. These are extra tough carbon plates though this one is the ones that we use in the studio my set that I have got at home both the small ones as well as the large ones for the daddy Gemini I have used the same set ever since we launched our double-sided dies so that goes to show how tough they are still do what Leanne says in the flip and rotate but you know even if you weren't to do that this will last you such a long time yeah so what we're going to do with this one, we're going to use the diamond lattice and we'll make a quite simple card, a side card, a edgeable card, but on a bit of an angle this time. And what we're going to do as well, you are also still going to need your two cutting plates. So whether it's your Gemini Junior or your large Gemini, you will need your, uh, your uh, plates as well, your cutting plates. Of course, if you are using your large Gemini, like Sarah does, like Debbie does, you can still use your Gemini Junior plates in with the large Gemini. But of course, you know, when you're just using them straight, you've got them good to go. So what I'm then just going to do is I'm going to bring in my card blank. I've also taken a bit of this woodland green. This comes from our 12 by 12 texture cardstock, the woodland selection we've also got on the show. So what we're going to do is I'm going to then just open my card blank up. Now with our double sided dies what we have got is we've got all of this detail within the die. However if I flip it over we have got even more detail. Yeah. So one side gives you kind of the backdrop like this one does here. So you can see how compared to that side there's not as much die cut in detail on this side here. So that's going to be what's the backdrop. And then on this side, you've got a lot more detail, fine detail. So that's what's going to be at the front. So what I'm going to do with this one is, a bit like the one we showed you before, you've got the cutting edge all the way around on both sides, but it doesn't cut on this side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm turning this around because I want the Get this side here with the, the bit less detail. Yeah. I want that to be cut within the white, and then this fine detail will be a, a nice accent for when we use the woodland green. So, all that I'm going to do is I'm just finding the end of the die cut edge, which is just here and here, and just at an angle, I'm just matching that up just to the end of my card blank there and I'm also doing it just into here. No specific measurements as such Ben, all that I'm just doing is eyeballing it just so that the end of the die cut line just matches the end of each card blank at yeah. each side. So what I'm just going to do is I'll just pop that back in as well. What I will do for this one is we've got this these few areas around here where there's no actual die cut detail so I am just going to uh, uh, secure that with a tiny little bit of our low tack then there and then what I'm going to do is going to then bring in my cards that I've got just here and that's going to do exactly the same that's then just going to sit just nicely over the top that you can see there so it's just sitting nicely nestled over the top that you can see like so so this is where your bottom layer is going to die cut straight into the white layer and then this top layer is also then just going to die cut into our green layer mm -hmm. so it's doing it twice in one pass so let's bring in our plates so we're going to bring in our base cutting plate and we're going to put our uh, carbon plate on the top so let's just turn this one around and then what I'm going to do is we're going to pop our card blank on in place and then what I'm also going to do is we'll pop this one back on place as well and I am just doing it so that we've got this nice white matting layer all the way around so then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to bring in our next cutting plate from our extra tough ones because keeping in mind because we've got the die on the top side we need something tough for it to cut into so that can just layer over the top and then once again we're just going to bring in our top cutting plate I'm just lining them ones up and then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to feed it into my Gemini so like usual what I do is I just keep a hold of it just until the Gemini takes hold of it and then I'm just going to let go and then it's just going to feed all the way through you can, if you've got any of our uh, double-sided dies where there's a lot of detail, you can add your metal shim from your plate combination if you want, yeah. although it's not essential, because what you're going to see just here is if I then remove these ones, so let's remove all this, so then as you can see just here, this then die cuts at that, you know, that jaunty angle, yeah. so to speak. 
So we've got this layer here, and then what I'm going to do, just where it's not caught the end of the card black, I'm just going to snip that one there, so we can see we've now got this really nice detail of Love a it. diamond lattice mm -hmm. here. So even then, we've got all these little bits, so this is another good one for paper piecing if you wanted to. Shakers. Shakers, absolutely, shakers, you could be doing that. So then what I'm going to do now is if I then bring in this layer of our green, and then what we're going to do is let's take all these little bits out of the way. And then I'm just going to set that just nice. So I need to go that way. So we're just going to set that on and see how that just sits absolutely perfectly on top. So we've got our white layer underneath with a little bit of die cut detail. And then once we've layered that over the top and positioned it, that really brings it to life. That then just accents not only the back, but you've got all this filigree detail come within the uh, green cardstock. So what I'm then just going to do is I'm going to bring in my tape runner. So I'm just using my straight tape runner for these bits. Once again, when it comes to all of this fine detail, what I'm going to do, Ben, is use my dotty tape runner. So this is where all the dots are only going to stick onto the cardstock. Uh -huh. And then we can bring this one in. And then I'm just layering that on once again. So we're just going to bring that one in that way. And because that we've die cut them with the matting layer all the way around. It sits just beautifully, perfectly. Come along, you've got all these little dots, yeah. any gems, perils, accents, anything like that you could be popping into place. So then if we close that one, you can see how we've got, how it just comes down. It just flows down at that nice angle. It's Perfect. a bit of an ornate kind of fan, isn't it? Sort mm. of, with that sort of look. And then I'm just going to bring in a bit of pattern paper again, a bit of a deep teal on this one here. And then we're going to come in and we're just going to layer this one up. So let's just work our way around. And then I'm going to, let's get that one going. So we're just going to add this one to the backdrop, just like this one. So simply popping it in, pressing into place. And then all that I'm going to do is I've already die cut a few of our other double-sided dies within our range. So we've got things like our roses. So I'm going to pop, let's pop, actually I'm going to pop our ribbon in first because I've got a hand-tied bow. So I'm going to pop that one onto the side with our glue gel. So that can just sit nicely there. Yes. Then we can bring in our yellow rose. Ah. And that's just going to work perfectly with the green as yeah. well. And then even these tiny little leaves. Check out our website for our full double-sided dye range. And then we're going to pop that one in just so it's tucked nicely there. Even this last one. So it's just tucked nicely as well. Like that one. And then there we go. That's all that I'm doing. You could add a sentiment if you wanted to. Or, you know, you leave it as it is that you can see there. But then, you know, it's a nice card with the rose and the bow, but you've got this added edgeable, that ed edgeable at that angle, edgeable at an angle. Wow, like yes. That one with the uh, diamond lattice. But keep in mind, you could do that with any of the double sided ones. You can actually do it with any of the double sided dies or any of the edgeable dies that we've got on the show. Absolutely amazing. A couple of quick questions. Um, Aisha on Facebook saying, for the MIDI, would would it require me to get the junior double-sided plate? So if you want to do the double-sided dies in the MIDI. So um, now Leanne done a show when it comes to the uh, the MIDI using the double-sided. Yeah. So I, I believe, because I never seen the show, because this is where, see, we all learn as well. So you yeah. can use your double-sided dies within your MIDI. Oh. You just need to double-check the combination. I need to check that as well myself. So I can be doing it at home, but you can do. So what I'm going to do is after this show, yeah. is I'll either go back and uh, find out the show, or what I'll do is I will give Leanne a text and just ask her, you know, what was the combination? and I'll put it on all of our social media. Brilliant. And Gloria just saying, um, can you ask Craig how to put the edgeable on top of the card? That's kind of something that you covered in the first demo, wasn't it really? It was, yeah. So just popping it onto the card. Because it's the edgeable part, one side stays within place. That gives you space to pop your adhesive, whether it's the top of the card, the edge of the card, you know, it could be a frame. So many different ways in which you can adhere it. Um, so, so many good questions. Keep those coming in. Anything that you want to ask Craig, um, we will uh, we will pop to him. If you want to go for the double-sided edgeable die collection, uh, this is the collection. You're going to get a whole host. So you're going to get heart to heart. 
um, which is this one here. Um, there you go. You're also going to be uh, getting all well, this eight within the collection. Your dancing butterflies, which are just absolutely gorgeous. And you've seen how easy it is to use these in combination with the plates um, at the bottom of your screen. Of course, you will need to make sure that you've got those in your life. You've got your shining stars as well. This one here is your fleur de lis. Again, same concept that you've got that one die that does the double pass for you. You've got your pretty florals. Um, you've also got your, uh, this is your pretty florals here. Again, look at that, gorgeous. One pass, two cuts, giving you this amazing effect. You've also got in there this gorgeous uh, diamond lattice as well, which is just amazing, isn't it? That effect it gives you is just stunning. Uh, and then you're gonna get your lily border as well. 72.74 or 83.94 for the collection. And if you haven't got your plates, we have got the um, junior cutting plates available for you. And then also the one for your Gemini. So make sure you get those to be able to use your double sided dies. Now, let's look at the word edgeables. So again, it is all about the edgeable technology on this masterclass. These are really cool, an eight piece collection again with massive savings to be had and triple points available here. Uh, love the fact that these give you that kind of like sort of swirly design. And I like that as well here, kind of you almost like using the waist to make a card if you wanted to be able to do that. But this is happy birthday, which is gorgeous. You're then also going to get in this collection, um, thinking of you. You've got uh, congratulations. Again, you can see here how that's um, sort of cut into the, uh, into the bottom of the card top of the card as well works so so simply and again as we were talking about just a few moments ago with the best wishes here actually uses the focal point for the center of the card if you wanted to be able to do that as well so many different ways um, to be able to use them uh, again there is the thank you that also um, comes just like so again brilliant Really, really love the use of that. Again, just um, adding it onto this uh, beautiful card here. We've then got, uh, with love, again, just so, so simple to use to get this beautiful effect. Look at this one as well, the with love. Um, kind of gone like three to, oh, well, well, you've got the with love on there and then you've got the, uh, which ones are those, the edges? The traditional lace um, is on there too. That should have been with me, other set. I've got so many cards here. Uh, you've then also got um, hello in this collection. You've got uh, good luck as well, and that completes the set. £38 or $57 on that. Triple points as well. I think by far and away the most popular item on this show is the modern edibles, which you are absolutely loving. Um, we saw these at the start of the show, uh, and I'm going to see these a little bit more as well. Um, again, I love these for the fact that you've got so many different styles um, within these edibles. You've got your um, cascading circles, as you are seeing here. Love that. Don't those work perfectly uh, with a little bottle of bubbly that you've got uh, there as well. Also included in this, you're going to get your heart confetti. Again, just nice to see them in situ and seeing how you don't always have to use them as the, um, as the edibles. You can kind of incorporate them into the centre of the card as well, should you want to be able to do that. The elegant rose. Uh, if you want to see a fab demo on that, check the start of the show because that was one of the first demos we saw with Craig. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, then you're going to get, so from something so elegant and so vintage, uh, you've then got something really fun in these balloons. I think they're my fave. I love those. Uh, the balloon bouquet. Again, Really easy to do, uh, paper piecing the different colours in and then on the back as we were talking about earlier on just a piece of acetate to keep those all in place. So those are included within this collection. You've also got your uh, butterfly breeze and then your fairy cakes as well, all included for 31.96 or 55.80. Um, triple points don't forget and uh, savings of almost £16 or $28 today. They are available as well on a multi-buy. If you, if you just want to go individually, you can, or they are two for £14 um, as well. So if you don't want to go for the full collection, you can go for the multi-buy, two for $23 as well. So it's entirely up to you. If you like the idea and you want the whole collection, I just think it gives you a bit more versatility when you've got all of those uh, different designs in there. But there is the multi-buy deal for you if you want to go that way. Uh, any more questions, keep them coming in. We are um, looking at all advent calendars today as well. Uh, lots of people chatting about advent calendars that they have for their pets. 
I mentioned earlier on, uh, who was it? I think it was Michelle who said that she's got one for a cat. Maria saying, we have four advent calendars. Uh, even the cat has one. Uh, and lots of general chat about cat advent calendars. Apparently they're a thing. Quite a few people uh, saying that their cat has one. And if you've got a cat with an advent calendar, please, can you send in a picture today with your cat opening up its advent calendar. That's what I want to see on my Saturday afternoon. Uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. You can send in pictures of yourself with your advent calendar, but more, more importantly, cats with advent calendars, please. That's what we want uh, pictures of in the last hour of the show. Right, we're gonna come back and have a look at the uh, modern shaped edgeable die collection now. So let's go uh, get back over to Craig. Which one are you gonna look at next? So we're actually gonna be using the Butterfly Breeze, which yes. I believe just so happens to be your favorite out there today, as it is. So uh, I'm kind of glad I've done this one. Who doesn't love butterflies? Exactly you know, it's right. kind of like the, the unofficial symbol of craft, isn't it? Between that and the purple, uh, the color purple. So what I'm gonna do beforehand is I've got my bit of cardstock that I've already marked. I'm gonna show you what I've done just in case anyone thinks, oh Craig, I don't know how you've done this. So I've just got a piece of cardstock that we can see here. And then all that I've just done is I've just marked in at four and a quarter inches with a pencil line there and four and a quarter inches just there. So what happens is when we bring in our die, yeah. all that I'm just going to do just here is that pencil line there and there it just matches up with my die so I can see nicely where to go. This excess of the card is in, it's not important as to uh, the size of it because it's all going to get die cut. So just in case it's just maybe a tiny bit confused then I'll just show you again. So I've just taken a piece of white card stock and then all that I'm going to do, I know you can't just quite see it but I'm just doing four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So I've just popped my mark there and then there and then again this is where I'm going to line up my mark to there and then to there and then you can even then I've just cut mine at a nice straight angle but Ben all you would need to do is just with your scissors yeah. just a rough, rough cut because as I say this bit's not important as to the shape of it because it's going to come away but I've just happened to do it just a, a bit of a square just so it's easier for you to see while I do that one so just in case anyone does wonder because although it's really really simple sometimes when you see it just laid out it's like well how did he actually create that angle so that's yeah, what I've done so this is just what I would say is our normal dies. So very, uh, well, say very, there's nothing normal about them. The detail within them, the things that you can do is absolutely exquisite. So again, I'm just putting my pencil line up against each edge of the die. And we're just going to tape that into place. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring back in our plate. So normal die cutting configuration. So these one will also go through on your Gemini Junior because of the size. So plastic, magnetic, and then top plate. Run this one through. So the good thing with these ones as well, and actually any of our edgeables, have a think of, because you've only got that one edge that cuts out and the opposite side as well as the top and the bottom doesn't, what happens is that you could then make them longer if you wanted to. Yeah. So think about your home decor, think about the wraps that you could be doing. You know, if you're having, you know, down the line, uh, a, a dinner party or a party and you want to wrap them around your napkins, certainly things like the butterfly ones, you can be doing, no problem. So what I'm then just going to do is I'm just going to take them off. So this is where I'm then just going to come along and then just where that pencil line is as well, I'm just going to snip up to the end of that die cut line. Yeah. And then I'm going to do exactly the same. So pencil line up to the start of that die cut. Then that then gives us all of that detail when it comes to the butterfly. So why not even start to just cut some of them out, snip them out if you wanted to. You don't necessarily have to use them like they are. Now the one step that I have skipped Ben, yeah. so let's go back and let's do it. I'm making it a bit difficult for myself, but do you know what? Hey ho. Do you know what? I feel like life. I'm making life difficult for myself today. I feel like so many different things to show you and so many different cards. I just, I, I feel like I'm not, you know, on my A game today. Oh, you 100% are, Ben. Am I? Don't you? Absolutely. Am I? Absolutely. Ah. You're absolutely fine. Good. Do I not don't think so. I know what, you say, yeah, what you're saying, though. Sometimes we just think that um, we could have done it better or explain things. But I'm we always thinking... We have such thinking, high standards, Craig. I know, especially you. Very high standards we have here at Crafters TV. We so, do. I mean, you probably don't even notice watching at home, but we, we know, we feel it, don't we? We I are know. our own worst critic. 
By the way, I, I've just thought of something else that we were going to talk about today. What's that? We were going to talk about awards, weren't we? Oh, we were, yeah. Yeah, because well, we were, well, we were just talk, talking before the show about sort of um, <laughs> awards. I was basically saying that, you know, Craig, he should get an award, shouldn't he? You know, he should get an award for his crafting <laughs> expertise. The, the man of craft 2020 or something like that. And it, anyway, we were talking. Oh, yeah, we were also talking about CTV awards. You know, and what, what, what categories we could have if we ever had, I mean, it, this, this probably isn't gonna happen. This was like me the other day saying that we're having, we're having, we're having four shows a, a day. Probably won't happen. But the CTV awards, you know, we could do those, couldn't we, at the end of the year? What, I mean, what categories? Uh, best Christmas jumper. I mean, who would win that? Um, favorite, favorite, favorite male crafter. I could be Derek. Have you seen Derek's work lately? Oh, well, oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Mm. I think it'd be you there, Craig. <laughs> Favourite male crafter from Scotland. There you go, you win that one. Uh, funniest moment we could have? Um, we'll have to have, like, Christmas bloopers. If any of the team have time to go back and look at some of them, find them. You know, the TV shows at Christmas time, yeah. we have to do, like, the, the bloopers, you know. Yeah, yeah, Laurie, you'll be fine. You don't need sleep, do you? You'd be feature on a that. few of those bloopers, I think, wouldn't you? I like mean, you do, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> All in the fun. Just quickly, Ben, yeah. just to say as well. So, this is what I've done, is I've used our water reactor. So, I've used our honey pot down at the bottom there, and then I've used my fuchsia. Now, this is what I would do before the die cut it to make it a bit easier for yourself, but that's the effect that you can see just there. And then all that I'm going to do is I've got another base, which is four inches by four inches, and I'm just going to do the same. I'm just going to do a bit of blending with our ink. Um, yeah, so if you, if you want to get in touch on the, on the socials, uh, any awards categories you could think of for the CTV awards, which may or probably won't, uh, happen maybe next year though maybe next year but also any awards that you've won um you know the, the more random more random awards uh the better have you ever, you ever, ever won any awards anything that uh you know, ever won any, like crafty awards at school or anything like that when you were younger uh yeah we we used to do you know, um you know how we have burns night oh yeah and we used to do the uh burns poem and there used to be a competition where we got a scottish poem and we had to say it the best we could without any mistakes what, or that. Scot Scottish poem? Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, do you remember it? I, I, rem I remember one of them. Uh, you've hurt your finger, you pair wee man. You're pinky, dearie me. Now just you hud it that way till I get my specs and see. My, there it is. And there's the scalp. And then I can't quite remember the rest of it. I liked how you went into like proper Scotsman mode <laughs> there for a second. <laughs> Hey, oh wee, Pinky! Or, or something he said at the start, I didn't even understand what it was, but that was great. That yeah. was great, love that. I still remember that like 15 years down the line. <laughs> Doesn't so, look 50, okay, does it? Yeah. No, 15. Oh, 15. 15. 15. Not 50. 15. <laughs> I'm not that haggard. <laughs> I was going to say, you look great for 50. <laughs> God, hopefully I'll look that good in nine years' time. Oh dear. Uh, best wardrobe says Enchanted Craft Fairy on YouTube. That'd be a, a good one. That would be good. You know, because obviously I, I like to think I've got a fine line in jumpers and waistcoats. You've got Derek with his shirts. Uh, Fiona as well. Fiona, she, yeah. She brings some brightness to the party, doesn't she? With um, some of the frocks that she wears and, uh, and, and shirts, blouses, tops. Yeah, you like that. Um, <laughs> Katie's just said... Uh, most lame dad jokes. <laughs> My jokes are great. Are they, are fa they are fantastic. Thank I you, love Craig. Them. And that's why you should win the crafty... I saw that. The most sarcastic crafter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what are you doing? Crafting man of the year. So what I've just done there is I've just taken a bit of 4x4 white smooth cardstock, still with a honeypot, still with the fuchsia, and just ink them together. And then what I've also done is with that one that we've done with the butterflies, just a piece of black cardstock, because what that's going to do, bringing in my card blank, but actually, do you know something? It's just dawned on me here, four and a half inches by four and a half inches. I'm doing a bit of... Uh, twisted easel kind of effect today. Do you know what? Uh, yeah. I didn't realise that until uh, 
I, I've just come here because I've done these demos over a couple of days. Yeah. So I uh, didn't realise I'd done so many. But that effect there, so this is where, uh, in case you want to you got that black layer. This is the black triangle that's just going to pop onto there. So all that I'm just going to do is just going to layer these ones up again, just with a double-sided tape runner. Uh. Going to work our way around. And I've also just taken a few die-cut butterflies from, I think, um, I'm trying to think where I got them from. Spring is in the air, I think. You'll yeah. see them in a moment. Uh -huh. I've taken some butterflies and also cut and coloured. And Louise on Facebook, I just won fifth place warrior in a fitness challenge. That sounds pretty awesome. Uh, fifth, fifth place in a, in a fitness challenge, amazing. Uh, and Katie says on Facebook, best, uh, the, the award for the best imitation of Craig's awesome accent by his co-workers. Does everyone do, try and do your accent? No, it's really only you. Oh, that, that means I must be the winner! You're the winner. You are the winner. It's an accent, because you know I do a few voices, it's an accent I just can't quite grasp. So it's, the, I'm not taking the mickey out of Craig when I do it. I genuinely want to try and do the, you know, do the Scottish accent. You know. I, uh, you're really good. I like them. Uh... Who's what, uh, Joe, Joe would win the award for best secret sharer. Who says that? Oh, Susan, what secrets has he got then? He can't keep them. Is he? Yeah, he's just about landing me in it a few times as oh, well. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. He's definitely going to win that one, that's for sure. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll just tell you that. Sorry, we're doing Secret Santa, and apparently he's already told on his Secret Santa. Has he Santa, really? Apparently, yeah. Uh, well, well <laughs> the producer Laura just said everybody but the, but the person he's got knows um, who his secret Santa is. I don't know. Just to go, show, I'm just not in the loop. Who is it? Ah. Do you want to know? Shall I tell? Producer Johnny. So if producer Johnny starts moaning about his secret Santa present, you know, next time he's here, you'll know. <laughs> you'll know. Worst secret Santa present giver. Joe. But we need to wait, uh, wait and see what everyone gets before we can dish out that I award. thought we were getting them this week, to be honest with you. I thought we were getting the Secret Santa presents, but they've not seemed to materialise. I, I, I think they're waiting for something special. Oh, really? Towards the end of the month, maybe. Something special. Oh, oh Christmas Day? Yeah. No. What, what were we having a look at earlier, Ben? Oh, sorry. That special thing, ah, now we know a secret, I'm not going to tell you about nope. it, but we got a, we're doing, a, we're doing a, a thing here, which will become mm -hmm. apparent down the line. We can't. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just ask Joe, next time Just he's on. Joe. Say, Joe, what's the big secret that, they're all, that you're all keeping, and he'll probably blurt it out, so there you go. Any eagle-eyed viewers out there, you may have seen slash heard Sarah say, you know, within about a split second, she may have mentioned it. Oh. A couple of weeks ago on one of the shows, and that's it. So let's not go any further. You'll have to wait and see. Uh, Eve Evelyn says Joe would win the award for the uh, fastest clearing of the display by knocking it over a award. Yeah, probably. Uh, I, yeah, I've seen him make a mess a few times. Um, oh, there's loads coming in now. Just as well, that's not overall, because I think Martin Parker would give him a run for his money, wouldn't he? <laughs> oh, yes. Good old, good old Martin. Good old Martin Parker. Anyway, look at your card you've made, boss. Just been yeah, because well, I just laying them up. That's all that I was just doing, is i just done the die cut of our happy birthday sentiment. So tip it that way, there we go. And then some of the butterflies that are from our spring is in the air, and I also just coloured them with the same colours. And then, as you can see there, other than the bow, it will then go relatively flat. So an edgeable, but at a bit of an angle that you can see they are creating our, uh, our um, I forgot the name of it again. Twisted Easel. Twisted Easel. Twisted Diesel. Diesel. Yeah. We'll get, there. we'll get there. We'll get there. Just brilliant, eh? So many beautiful demos today. Just to recap on this collection, it is your um, Gemini Modern Shaped Edgeable Die Collection. Six dies in total. That one is the one that you just saw, which is your Butterfly Breeze. But then you're also going to get with this collection um, your happy birthday, so the cupcakes, is it that one? No, so that, that is called party cake, let's get it right. So look at that, those beautiful little cupcake edibles uh, that you will also get in this collection. Uh, then you are going to get your uh, balloon bouquet. I think this is my favorite of the lot, actually. I really love this, I just think that 
is happiness in card form, isn't it really? Those beautiful balloons that you can cut into the edge of your card. And again, this particular example, uh, paper piece, putting those colors back into it, which is just gorgeous. Um, you're then also going to get with this, the gorgeous, elegant rose. Again, from fun balloons to something really timeless and classic. That rose is just stunning, isn't it? So that's also included within this collection. You're then also going to get the cascading circles, which I think work perfectly on this diorama card. Again, look at that. So either side, you've got those gorgeous, well, cascading circles, but in this case, bubbles from the champagne bottle. And then last, but by no means least, you've got your heart confetti. Producer Laura's just gone, oh, I could do it with a glass of champagne. Well, it is Saturday, you know. I mean, not now, but maybe, you know, later on. So it's five o'clock somewhere, as you said. Very true, very true. Uh, so that's the full collection for 31.96. However, if you want to go for them individually, you can just down there, 7.99 or 13.95, or any two for 14 pounds or 23 dollars. I think they're brilliant, and you can, you can see the kind of versatility that you've got with those um, as well. Uh, lots of pictures coming in. So let's have a look at some of the things that you've been sending us over the course of the uh, last hour or so. Uh, this is uh, Rosalind's uh, using the bubbles on that one. That looks brilliant, doesn't it? Well, that's smart. Wow. I absolutely like brilliant. Um, oh, and that is, oh, that's her Brenda. That's the Brenda. So Oh wow, she's decorated her Brenda as well. The lots of, I didn't realize this, lots of people got their own Brendas floating around. Well, that's amazing, isn't it? Um, of course, I forgot that. Yes, everyone gets a free Brenda with every order, don't they? That's it, you see, some assembly required. Craig's scratching his head here. It's a box, Craig. Oh, it's right, a, okay. It's a cardboard box, isn't got it? Got yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just cut it in half. Got ya. And it's Brenda, it's not really a free gift. Did wonder. Don't tell anybody. Uh, yeah, so free Brenda with every order. Heidi, look at it. Now, nah, this is my kind of card. This is what I'm talking about. I love this. That's just a, a card full of happiness, isn't it? Happy birthday. And then you've got those gorgeous um, cupcakes on the outside, the edge of balls as well. So that is brilliant, Heidi. Thank you so much for that. And here we go, right? So there's been a lot of chat apparently on the socials about cat calendars. So here is Patricia's cat calendar. What? The, I mean, the mind just, how does the cat open it? How does the cat open the, ca the door? Oh, you open it yourself and give it, I see, I understand. I wonder what's behind each door. Is it a little cat treat, little balls of catnip or a little squeaky mouse or something? Or what else do cats like? Dre those dreamies? Mice. M mice. <laughs> yeah, you get a, ma a mouse behind each door. It can be stinking a bit, isn't it, by, uh, by the 24th of December? Uh, wow, well there you go. Thank you for sending in those pictures. Thank you as well for these um, these awards as well. Uh, best make it up as he went along demo uh, by Craig, says Katie. Uh, best sound effects, says Sarah. Another good one. I wonder who'd win that one. Um, and Evelyn on Facebook says, Craig would win the fastest card maker award. That would be good as well, wouldn't it? If we could have some sort of, I don't know, craft off between our crafters, you know. Uh, which would be good, wouldn't it? I don't know if we've ever done anything like that here before. I don't, I've not heard of anything that we used to do here like that before. Like a, cra we call it something like um, craft wars, maybe. That's a, maybe something, like, I don't know. Just thinking that off the, the top of my head here, just ideas coming to me right now. Craft wars. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Who thinks we should do that? Me. Did you ever win one of those? I did. Oh. I did, yeah. I think I won a couple. Oh, well, right. I did win a couple, yeah. You know. I would love to see that. I would honestly, I would love that. Getting you guys head to head, getting the viewers to. There's vote. one with me and Debbie Robinson. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was hilarious with the bunny rabbit. Re oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> if you want to see the best of Craft Wars, it's available now on YouTube. Now, uh, this collection I really love because it's it's that sort of edgeable design, isn't it? But with these cute little characters. Now, you, this is a brilliant bundle, right? You're making a huge saving, you're getting triple points as well, and it is all of these animals in this 67 piece collection because on each separate collection, you get your, um, you die for your character, all right? So the character can peek over the top of the card, and then you've got the stamps to, be, to build up your character, front and back. There you go. 
um, and then you've got all the sentiments as well. This arch you will also get with this deal. So your window arches are included, your um, oval arch and your square arch is included as well. You don't always get that with this bundle. So that is a perfect thing to have in there. Now you've got your peekaboo cat. <laughs> There's the bad dad joke. You've got your um, peekaboo dog as well. And again, I love the fact that you can just Turn it round and look, he's there up at the window looking out. That's like my dog when I get home after I've been up here. He's always looking out for me, bless his little cotton socks. Uh, you've then also got in this collection your um, baby elephant. And again, with the stamp on the, uh, the back there. I mean, obviously, you, know, you can use these individually if you want to, but I just love the fact that it builds up to create this really cool peekaboo design. Lots of lovely sentiments in there as well. This one more focused on um, new baby. You've then got in the collection the uh, peekaboo bear as well. Look, bear behind. Um, you've got, um, I just can't, well, I can't read this upside down. I just can't, uh, wait to be without you be with i just can't bear to be without you sorry yes i just can't bear to i'm trying to make up sentences that aren't there it's just i can't bear to be without you because it's a bear and there's a little anyway uh you've also got in this collection the little bunny there as well look so cute um, and you've got all the sentiments included there too, as the stamps. And, and then, ah, now the giraffe, he comes separately. Um, so that collection, £26 of $37 with the uh, window dies as well. So you can create the um, aperture straight away. The giraffe doesn't come in the bundle because he is limited, all right? So literally, if you want to get this, you've got to go swiftly, but for an extra four quid or 550, less your 20%, um, you can get the lot. Uh, wild about you, look at the giraffe, amazing. Um, so that's four pounds or 550. Now, let us have a look at the uh, peekaboos in action uh, with Craig. Which one's he gonna go for? Let me think now. Craig is probably going to pick, I reckon he's picked. The bear? Nope. The dog? Yep. Oh, that's good. Done dog. the dog. Because you love a dog. Love the doggies. Oh. So what I'm going to do is, the demo I'm going to do is a slightly different take. So very quickly, I'll show you kind of the idea, the concept of these ones. If you're completely new to them, we've got lots of ideas on our YouTube, so you can always go across and have a look. So the whole idea is, Ben was showing you on some of the samples as well as the board. You've got all these little stamps that you can then make your own sentiments. Because with the dog, you've got the die that says friend. So it does die cut, die cut and says friend. Bit like the edge ball in the fact you've got the outside area that die cuts, but along the bottom it doesn't. And then you've got the silhouette of the dog. So what you can then do is stamp the head. So what it's going to be like is they're peeking over the wall or the door or whatever you want them to be uh, peeking over. A kennel. Kennel? Mm. Oh no, don't, that's sad. Don't. No, you know, the little no. doggy, the little outdoor. The little oh, the outdoor cats. one, Not yeah. Not kennel as in, you Sorry, know. Sorry, yeah, I thought you meant yeah. like dog's horse. Like, no, 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 no. No, it's no. too sad for oh, the Oh, they're broken me out now. Uh, you can do it so you can stamp the back, so you can see the back of them. So what we're going to do to start with is let's just show you how you could use the window arch. Now, I don't have the window arch that you actually get within the set. You actually get better ones. You get a much deeper ones. But I'm going to kind of show you the concept with the set that I have, a previous one. Okay. So what I'm just going to do is just pretending this is a card blank, you know, or your mats and layers. So what you can do is you can then just start to line them up. So both of them, because they've got no die cut and line along the bottom, this actually stays in place. So if we then just take the silhouette of the dog and we can tape that one into place. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tape the friend into place and we're just matching that up, edge of the die against edge of the die and popping that one into place and we're taping it in securely just like that. Now Ben, you could have them separated if you want. You could have a gap in the middle. You might want to have friend on the left hand side with the dog on the right hand side. It's up to you. But then within the deeper arches that you're getting within your bundle, yeah. what you're just going to do is you're going to come along and you're just going to arch it over the top just like that. So you could have multiple characters peeking over the top, couldn't you? Of course you can. Yeah. You can literally have as many as oh, you like. like. Have a little zoo going on there. You could, yeah. Mm. You absolutely could. 
So we're just taping them ones in, and then we're just going to run them one through. I might need to trim this. Is it going to fit? Oh, yeah, it's going to fit, no problem. So we're just going to pop these ones on. So this is just to give you an idea, you know, if you're relatively new, I know over the last few months, crafting as a whole has exploded. We've got so many new crafters and followers at Crafters Companion. So you've maybe not seen these before and want to know what kind of like the idea of how to start them off. So this is what you're going to do. So then we're going to move that one out the way. We are then going to peel that one off. And then we're then going to peel that one off. And then what we're just going to do is take that arch away because this arch, as you'll have seen, is your die is halfway around, but obviously there's nothing here, so it stays in place. Yeah. Bring your scissors, your craft knife, and then all you're going to do is just from the end of that arch to the start, snip that in. And then we're going to do exactly the same there. And then you might just need to do a tiny little snip into there. And then that there is where it gives you your half arch, you know, that could be your window effect, whatever effect you want to have a look at. Then what you would do is you would stamp the dog just into that silhouette. I'm not going to do it here because one, it's green card and two, I'm going to show you onto my next bit. So that is the idea and the concept of your peekaboo. Uh -huh. So let's pop that out the way now. So what I'm going to do is I've just created just a small envelope box with my uh, score master. So I'm just going to finish this one off. No Pacific size, because it's all going to be about the actual peekaboo. And I wanted to show you how you can use these, not only for your cards and your projects, but decorate your envelopes or your boxes. Have some fun and see what you can come up with. So I've also just taken one of our nesting dice, and I've just die cut out the middle. And I'm just going to take the backing off for the time being. So let's just take a red liner tape off and we're just going to try and grab one end. There we go. And I'm just going to just sandwich a bit of acetate, Ben. A, just while you're doing that, there's a few comments coming in about people wanting to see the return of uh, the craft wars. Did you, was that a bit like um, uh, Ready Steady Cook? Where you, you know, is it Ready Steady Cook? Where you get like a bag, bag of yeah. ingredients and then it was like open the bag, create something in 20 minutes. Was it a bit like that? Yeah, it got very competitive, absolutely, Laura, did it? it did. Wow. Mm -hmm. but, but literally, you didn't know what was there, you no. just had to make something off the cuff? Two baskets, yeah. they were filled with exactly the same things, yeah. uh, and there was a cloth over the top, and literally, they were guarded before the show. So whoever was against each other, we couldn't see yeah. what was in them. We didn't know what was in them. I love this. So I know, it was so much fun. So oh, much fun. Right, so, so as well as um, doing the Crafting Chronicles, which is something that you and I are going to be working on in the new year, yep. we're going to do the Craft Wars as well. We are we're indeed. Make these happen. make this happen. It's going to be fun. Mm. Can't wait. So then now, slightly different, I've just taken a piece of our white smooth cardstock, which is a bit of a, a, a actual a strip. So it's five and a quarters by one and a half inches just so it gives you a bit of a guide. And then I've also just popped the dog on with the friend. And you can see this time I've just left a bit of a gap just to make it that wee bit longer. It's not necessary, it's not necessary, not necessarily, not necessary, necessary to do it. That's it. Uh, One of the necessaries. Necessary. 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 Um, so we're now just going to run that one through. So then this is what it's going to be like that it's actually just peeping in from behind the aperture of your envelope. Aww. So we can pets. bring this one in. Uh, we, we don't. Um, we had uh, our dog, Black Lab. We had DJ Aww. for... Uh, he was... Unfortunately, he lost him two years... Maybe actually three years ago. And he was... I want. He was... I can't think... He was about 14. 14 off the top of my What's head. It called DJ? DJ, As in yeah. Dwayne Johnson? Well, no, actually, my mum and my step... My oh. mum's called Denise and my stepdad's called John. Aww. So they called him DJ. Oh. And he was the, we've had a couple of dogs, a couple of animals over the years, uh, but he was the first one that we ever had from a little pup. And he was, he was that, he was the best. I know everyone says their dog is the best. What was he, a black lab? He was a black, he was a black lab with a touch of a whippet in him. Oh yeah. So he was slightly thinner than what a normal black lab would be. But uh, he was a therapist. 
So my mum, my mum would take them into hospitals, ah. uh, you know, uh, schools for you know underprivileged kids, yeah. anyone like that, because he was such a, as you would say, certainly in this area, he was such a canny dog, yeah. such a canny dog, and he just loved people. And oh gosh, we absolutely miss him to bits. But yeah, Those... that was that was our doggy. Those therapy bits are amazing. That are. Um, uh, last, oh, they, this year actually, obviously working at the radio, did a, a, a few chit chats and whatnot. We, we met a therapy uh, dog, Doug the Pug. Oh. Uh, he was called. And the lady who owned him, he, so he used to do that. He used to go into hospitals and um, hospices and places like that. And he used to go into schools as well. And she had little um, different outfits for him that he'd wear for the different places he was going. So he had his really? own little school uniform, his own little um, doctor's coat as well. <laughs> just brilliant. Do you know what was such a. Because I, I never went with my mum. It was always just my, my mum and the dog. Yeah. And what was such a, a, a real lump in the throat moment, my mum was telling me. Now, I, it was a couple of months, might be longer from a couple of months, but mum went into one school and there was a little boy, never spoke a word, Aww. never said anything, and he spoke when my mum used to bring in DJ. Wow, that's so the only amazing. time that he spoke, you know. I, oh, when, when I heard, the, just goes to show the power that animals can yeah. have within anyone, to go and elderly folks home as well. It was just, oh, Ben, it was just amazing Aww. to hear. Well, uh, give me goosebumps that. I know, I know, yeah, I'm giving myself goosebumps again just uh, thinking about it and talking about it. But all I've done there is I've just die cut out and then I'm just going to stamp the front of the dog onto there and then we'll just do a little bit of colouring. Um, we, well, there's loads of comments coming in about craft wars now. I've started something. I'm going to get told off for this. I'm going to get told <laughs> off. Uh, we should ask for Christmas craft wars, says Angela. It would be fun. Maybe if enough of you mentioned it on the socials and stuff, maybe you know the pat. Because I'm not, I'm not in a position to make a decision. I'm, you know, I'm down. I'm a min, you know, a bit of a minion, aren't I? Really, that way down, way down the line. You know, the bosses are sort of like, where's Ben? Oh, he's down there somewhere. They're not going to really listen to me on the thoughts. But if you guys, you know, wanted it, um, you can start a petition. Up to you. Uh, that would be fun though, wouldn't it? Yolanda saying, I'd love to see the craft wars again. Uh, Carlene saying, my Yorkie just turned 15 on the third. 15! Oh, wow. My nan used to have Yorkies. Um, she used to live with us. And um, yeah, the, the Yorkies. Uh, funny little dogs, these two, because they, my dog gets excited. You know, when I, when I go home tonight, he'll be very excited and he'll be there and you know, barking away. But my nan's Yorkies, you could literally leave the house for about a minute and then you go back in again and they would react like they hadn't seen you for about a year. The little one, Penny, um, she, used to, she used to piddle all over the floor. <laughs> and he would just literally like, please just don't. I, I saw you about two minutes ago, stop it. But yeah, love animals, love animals. I've got a dog um, called Mac. You saw him yesterday um, dressed up in his Christmas clothes. He's eight, named after MacGyver, the, um, really? the TV action hero. Yeah, because I didn't really ever want to get a dog. I was always a cat person, um, but my wife always had dogs. So the, we, eight years ago, we decided to get one. Yeah, so I said, you can get a dog as long <laughs> as I can name it. Um, I wanted to name him Mr. T, first of all, because I love the A-team. Uh, but she said, you're not calling him Mr. Imagine T. you in the park. Yeah. Uh, Mr. T. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mr. T. Come on. It's about like that one from the other day, wasn't it? Was oh, yeah. it? Fenton. Um, Fenton. 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 Um, but yeah, so then my second choice was MacGyver. And she was like, oh, I don't know about MacGyver. And I said, well, we could call him Mac for short. And that's how it stuck. Uh, stuck. And I've got a cat as well. Our cat, Nut, is 19. She's a tortoiseshell. But she was um, a rescue cat. I don't know why she was called Nut, but that was a... Uh, do they get on okay? Oh, the cat. They get on really well, but the cat rules the roost. Because she we obviously got Mac as a puppy. So she she obviously, you know, um, sort of put him in his place when he was little. And now, even though he's about, you know, seven, eight times the size, um, yeah, she still rules the roost of the house. Yeah. It's so funny to see. Really it's funny because you automatically think, you know, it kind of goes to say that, you know, cats and dogs don't get along. But then yeah. the amount of, because my auntie and uncle, they're the same, my little cousins. My uncle didn't want a dog. And my auntie and my cousin Louise, and well, actually our brother Daniel as well, they'd done that, you know, they went and got one. Yeah. Without him actually knowing. Oh. And do you know something? He would be lost without little Fozzie. He loves them a bit. Yeah. But um, yeah, they've got a cat as well, Pixie, and the two of them adore each other. Yeah. Absolutely adore each other. The, the R2 like, will snuggle up sometimes, and it's quite nice now because 
uh, Mac, if he sees another cat out and about, he'll never, ch he'll never chase it because he knows how to behave around cats. And Nut, our cat, is really good with other dogs. Like if, the, if other dogs come up to our gate and, and whatnot and stop barking, she just sort of strolls up and she's like, yeah, what are you barking at? Stop barking, you know, I'm, I'm cool with you. You don't scare me. Uh, so it's, it, yeah, it's all, kind of, it's all kind of nice, really. But I love having dogs like as well now. And for those of you who go, you said you didn't want a dog. Yeah, I would never not be without a dog now. I think they're just, they're amazing creatures, aren't they? But you see, I'm, I'm like that as well, Ben. I would love a dog, but obviously yeah, when difficult. COVID's not about, yeah. you know, on the road a lot, traveling. And... You can bring it in here. That's, that's, an, that's an idea. Yeah. I know, that's an idea. Because I don't know my neighbours well enough to uh, just say, by the way, do you want a dog sit for in. a couple of days or so? But we could... you been? Now, yeah, the last couple of years, this morning, they've been doing their um, studio dog, haven't they? So we could be doing our own one, Crafters TV dog. Studio oh, dog. Yes. We could be doing that one. Yes. A Gemini studio the dog. Studio dog called Gemini. Yeah. Gemini. That would be brilliant. Right. So we're doing the Crafting Chronicles. We're bringing back Craft Wars and we're getting a studio dog called Gemini. Right. That's three things we've got to sort out. That's it. Year. Anything else anybody wants that we can, we, we can sort out and put on our wish list, uh, let us know. I mean, if we're getting a dog, may as well get a cat as well. You know? That's true. Um, Little cat flap in the front of our craft room door. Why not? Why not? Why not? You're a man with a bit of clout, Craig. You can mention all of this to, uh, to Sarah. Believe you me, you've got a lot of clout as well. Um, <laughs> I don't know you about absolutely that. do. More likely to get clouted, I think. Oh, not at all. <clears throat> not at all. Uh, anyway, where are you up to here? This is looking brilliant. So all that I've just done, you see me just colouring in, and then just behind the aperture of this envelope, I just popped it with a bit of double-sided tape. So then we've got it just so that we've got the fringe just popping through. And then all that I've just done is added a bit of red liner tape. You could be using your wet glue if you want, just so that we can start to assemble it. So let's take the backing off. So let's close our envelope over yeah. and then over. And then once again, let's just pop that one in and then pop that one in. And then what we can do is close that one. And then all that I'm going to do is on top of the acetate, we've got the friend again. I've just die cut that into uh, some brown card that also comes within that woodland set. So let's pop that one on, on top. And then I've just taken a few die cut flowers. Yeah. And then all that I'm just going to do is literally just pop a few of them. So let's just pop that one, that one, and then that one there. And then do this last few and then what I've also done is on the stamp set I've just stamped you're my best we're going to pop that there and then down there we've got friend so then we've got you are my best friend Aww. and that one can sit just here and then what we will do let's pop our tape on this one here and then I'm just going to show you one that I've got here finished off Let's tuck that in because what I also done within the envelope, I just added a little bit of Centura Pearl on the back, on the inside, just so that you don't see the workings. So if I bring it in there, you can see all that I've done is just popped a bit of Centura Pearl so you don't see the workings. And then there we go. We've got a nice little envelope. Nothing's still stopping you from using it as an actual envelope. Maybe just put a little bit of white card in the middle, write the name and address. I bet you all the posties, you know, would be uh, intrigued to actually see that one in their mailbox. Yeah. Brighten them up a little bit. I mean, not, I'm not saying your posties are miserable, but brighten up there, you know, if they're delivering bills. Makes a difference and... from bills, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And junk mail. Um, these peekaboos are brilliant, aren't they? Some lovely messages coming in as well. Um, Angela saying the elephant in this set is uh, her go-to die for baby cards. So, so cute. Um, yeah, the bunny would actually be very, very cute for that, which you're seeing here. So th th this collection, just to reiterate, you will get your um, arch dies with this. So you've got the ability to make that kind of um, oval arch and then the square arch as well. So you, you have got that included this time. For £26 or $37 is awesome. Um, also in this collection, you will get the bunny. So as Craig was showing you, you get all of the stamps to be able to create the little bunny and then the, um, the outline die for the bunny uh, and then You've got the main um, uh, uh, die there as well, which says bunny, funnily enough. Uh, and then look at that, just as you flip it round. I love like the reverse stamp, it's so cool. Then you're also gonna get in this collection the, uh, the bear as well, who's really, really super cute. You've then got that um, Angela was talking about just a few moments ago, that really cute little elephant. Um, again, 
sort of the baby cards there would be absolutely brilliant. Then you're going to get our little uh, doggy as well, which is just so cute. He's in there, as is uh, the cat as well, which is perfect. So stamps and dies for all of those included with the window arches for £26 or $37. If you want to complete the collection, you'll need to go individually for the giraffe. However, the giraffe is now seriously limited stock. We are now down to single figures on this, all right? So single numbers of stock remaining. If you want to go for the giraffe, uh, then you will have to go swiftly because he will sell out very, very shortly indeed. Four pounds or 550, uh, it's a 40% saving. Triple points, don't forget, as well with this um, on everything up until the end of play on Sunday. Right, we are going to have a look at your uh, your word edibles, which are also proving popular. But the fact we kind of got edibles for everything here, haven't we? Really, all of uh, your edibles are covered here. So, uh, your word edibles again, just so super super cute um, and really really easy to use. It's an eight piece collection. I've got so much down here. I'm just going to. Um, have a look and make sure that we've got all of them um, here because you're going to get eight in total. Happy birthday. So again, you can see that one die to create the beautiful sort of scalloped edge here and giving you that happy birthday wording inside as well. You've then also got thank you. Love the little flowers that you've got on the edge here too. Just lovely. Then you're going to get, oh, here's the thank you as well in, in a card, just to kind of give you an idea as to how that is going to look. Just gorgeous. We've got with love as well. So again, you're thinking about using these edibles in lots of different occasions, then you really have got uh, all the occasions covered off here. Uh, this is hello. Again, nice to have those kind of um, cards available or the, the sort of dies available for you know just because because you don't always want to send cards for just birthdays and anniversaries and weddings nice to send cards just because as well then you've got um good luck which is just here thinking of you again which is absolutely gorgeous and i, I love the way again that you don't always have to use these on the edge as it were um congratulations again very clever for the fact that you've got that beautiful congratulations and then you've got the uh, beautiful detailing underneath as well sort of like a doily effect on that one and then best wishes as well and again that one incorporated in the center of the card as opposed to kind of being on the edge as well um really really cute 38 pounds for that eight piece collection or 57 dollars uh, you're saving over 25 pounds over 38 dollars and it is a triple points weekend for you as well. So celebrate that, get involved. It ends tomorrow uh, at the end of play. So whatever it is that you want, if you want to benefit from triple points, if you want to benefit from potentially maintaining your platinum status or moving up a bracket in Club Inspire, get shopping uh, by the end of tomorrow to claim those triple points. Um, right. Let's get back to another demo. I can't believe we've only got 15 minutes remaining. So we'll have a look at the word edibles and we'll get some more of your comments in just a sec. Which one of the word edibles are you going to use? We're going to go for happy birthday. Ah, of course. And what we're going to do is we're using the woodland paper pad and we're also using the celebration pattern paper pad that's on the show. So I've just taken some white of the texture cardstock. So just to let you know, I've cut this to six inches by one and three quarters. This one, is six inches by two inches. And then just to let you know, I've taken an orange one, which was six inches by two and a quarter. And then this next one was six inches by two and a half. So each one I've just come up a quarter of an inch increments. So we're going to take the happy birthday die. So we're going to take this one. Now what happens is you have got all this detail. Uh -huh. You've got the word happy birthday, but then you've got the edgeable die that cuts away within your card, but all this stays into place. So what I'm going to do with this one is on my strip, the reason I've done six inches is because it fits the edgeable. And then I'm just going to line it up just with the edge of each bit of the cardstock. And I'm just coming down as far as I can go on my card that you can see just where my finger is. And then I'm just going to tape this one into place. So let's just line that up once again. We're going to tape that one in. And then also for a bit of time and speed, we're going to use our Gemini Mini for this one. 
They will go through the Go, the Gemini Junior as well as the Large Daddy, but again, just shows that they do go through the Mini too. And of course, they'll go through your Midi. So we can take these away. Now, don't bin the Happy Birthday that die cuts out because you could be using that paper piece or maybe even or use it elsewhere. So there is our first one. So then let's just do it once more into that next piece of cardstock. So again, this one is six inches by two inches. Uh -huh. So just going up that quarter of an inch. So again, we're just then going to bring this one in. So edge to edge, and then also I'm just going to bring out bring the die down as far as it'll go onto the card. So we're going to pop this one on here and then here. So this is going on to your texture card bin, but this will still go on to, you know, things like your Mac card and your Miri card. Maybe you've got things like your Centura Peril, Adorable Scorable. Maybe you've got some of your Paper Dynamics card stocks. Yeah. If you've got, I'm not sure what it was there other than the MDF that the Dreamies bought you, but anything like that, you can start to incorporate all these different products and elements that you've got at home. But for this one, we are just going to make a card. So let's take that bit off there. So then there is our next one that we can see. So then I had just done exactly the same with our next layer up and then exactly the same with our fourth layer here. So then what I'm going to do is let's bring this one in and let's use our dotted tape runner. And we're going to go all the way across and we're just going to add our adhesive. So we're going to bring in this next one. So the first few, we will start to cover up the birthday but don't worry about that that's yeah. absolutely fine so we're just going to pop this one on into place just here now i think my die may have slipped slightly but let's just go with it anyway so then we're going to do this next one so still with the dotty because then what that means is it gets on into all these tiny tiny little bits so once again we're just going to pop them on there and then onto there and I'm just going to hold that one into place. And then what we're going to do is bring in this last one. We're going to run that one on, bring it into place just here. And we're going to pop that one. Amazing. So simply layer not layer so getting that decorative lace border all the way along. So we're just going to then press that down. I'm going to bring in a layer. So this is from the pattern 12 by 12. So that is six inches by four and a quarter and then this will be six and a quarter by four and a half inches so layer these ones up on top so this is going to be the mats and layers and then what i would do i do have them to the side of me ben but i'm not going to do it simply for time mm. is that happy birthday i would paper piece back in because see how you've got you know multiple uh, different yeah. die cut layers underneath you don't really want to see that you want it to be nice crisp and readable. I'm knowing all the paper piecing you're doing at the minute. Is it is it is it something that you kind of find yourself doing in your own craft currently? I love it. Yeah. If it's not die cut uh, die cut. If it's not hand die I'll start that again. <laughs> if it's not hand cutting, creating my own decoupage, then I do like to do paper piecing. Because it is depending on what you're doing. It is a time-consuming yeah. part of craft. However, it is so relaxing, it is so rewarding, and just so therapeutic to do. Someone said earlier, I can't remember who it was, that uh, sort of paper piecing was, uh, I think to quote their words, very labour-intensive, uh, only for my BFF. Do I do that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you might only do it for your yeah your special friends or family. Yeah, it's one of those things that you wouldn't do if you uh, were short on time, basically. Absolutely not. Absolutely not, because you do need to just make sure you have got, you know, a good bit of time mm. left over to sit, because you don't want to rush it. So then all that would do, I'm only going to do the H. So all that I would just do, once again, either with your Secura glue pen or maybe just your tacky glue here, you're just going to feed that in with the glue. We're going to bring in our letter and then we're just going to stick that one into place. Let me, I'll just do the A mm -hmm. once more as well. And then what that will do is that will then show you just the difference of how much crisper and cleaner it is if you paper piece compared to having uh, all these layers that you see the die cut parts through. Just turning that H around the right way. And I'm going to, there we go. So that's all that I'll just do, because you get the idea. 
We're going to leave it like that. You come along with additional sentiments, anything like that. But even then, from up above, can you see how it's, it's kind of, it's flat, it's fresh, having the H and the A. But you see how with the P, it just, it looks unfinished. Yeah. So it's good just to paper piece them back in. But again, you could be popping anything else along the bottom if you want. Maybe some of the peekaboos just poking up from the bottom. Saying hi. Or peekaboo, probably. What did I say? Hi. Oh, Maybe right, sorry. Again. Peekaboo! <laughs> peekaboo. Yeah. Uh, right, if you want to go for the uh, Gemini Border and World Edibles collection, an uh, eight piece collection, uh, £38, $57, you're saving over £25 today, almost £26, uh, and just shy of $39. Just remember again, it is triple points until the end of tomorrow, and if you're spending over £40 and $40, you will get that free um, Christmas ornament as well. So you're ever so close, particularly with uh, this collection, are you not? £38 or well, $57, you've done it um, in the States. But yeah, that will come to you for free uh, if you spend £40 or $40 before the end of play Sunday. Um, the edibles, modern shaped edibles are proving really, really popular indeed. And I'm not surprised. Um, I love these. You've got, as I've said, a really cool collection for the fact that you've got so many different designs in here, like, for example, your cascading circles, as you can see on this card here. The, the, they're, you know, they are circles, but in this point, uh, little bubbles to go along with your little celebratory bottle of um, champagne there, which is just brilliant. You've then also got within this collection your beautiful hearts as well. Again, slightly different here using the uh, edibles within the cardstock here and actually forming that kind of the main piece of, of the card if you like. So again, showing you as Craig showed you through this show, all of the different ways that you can um, pop these together. Next up is the Elegant Rose. Again, that is absolutely stunning. Again, I would encourage you to rewind or uh, watch the beginning of the show a little bit earlier when Craig was demoing with this and paper piecing that rose because it looked absolutely stunning. Uh, from something so gorgeous and vintage to something very, very fun indeed, you've got your balloon bouquet. Again, love that. Popping in all of those different colours to create that balloon edgeable uh, and then just sealing it with the acetate on the back there to create uh, a bit of neatness. You then also got in this collection your butterfly breeze as well. I don't have a card handy for that one, but there, there it is, uh, your butterfly breeze. And just flipping it around there, you can see the design that you're going to be able to achieve uh, with this as well. And uh, our Laura's favourite is the party cakes with these really cool uh, cupcakes that you're going to get as well. Just really fun and funky these, aren't they? Individually, you can get them for $7.99. You can get them on a multi-buy, any two for £14 or $23, or go for the full collection because you're saving almost £16 or $28. And also it's triple points as well. So, you know, the more you're spending, the more points you're getting to go towards your Club Inspire uh, membership into next year as well. Let's have a look at some more of the cards that uh, Craig has got over the other side with our modern shaped edibles. What you got? So here is a few of the ones that we made actually earlier on. So whether it's just the edible, so it's on the edge that you can see there, it's the butterfly one. And then here again is the other one where we've done it with the rose and the paper piece in there. Just how elegant does that look? So sophisticated with that one. But then maybe just using the hearts, just with your white card onto your craft card. So you've got the panel there, really quite simple. Going all out, doing your double edible. So you've got one on this side and you've got that one on this side. Let me go that way there, there we go, so we've got the two sides, but then why not juice nicely on top of a happy birthday, oh, again, yeah. bit of colouring, bit of paper piece and cut into them, chop into them, let's go all large and luxurious Love within it. this one here, again, double sided, but then what about just doing it all onto your white card and start to colour the components in there, so that's paper piece, but that's paper piece just for white smooth cardstock and colouring it in. Again, another one with the butterflies, going blue as well as some blacks in oh, that, that one. So you see, just doing it in with the pattern paper. So just snipping it around the pattern paper. Look at that one as well. Look at that, how bright is oh, that yes. one? Bright and bold. With 99 glitter. red balloons. 99. That's the song, you see, it I get is. that one. Uh, yeah. Sung by uh, Nena. There is you that? go. Yeah, originally recorded in German. 99 wow. Luftballon. Oh, I didn't know that. There you go. Look at me. Anyone who goes to that. work in radio as a DJ. 
Anyway, this one's on. been stuck onto acetate, trimmed down the side, and then this has been coloured in using our classic pens. You could use your tri blends if you want because you can colour onto acetate. Another one with the balloon that you can see here at an angle. Not much to it, but great for a man's card as well. Yeah. Just with the colours that you choose and a bit of embossing. So you don't have to colour, you don't have to do your paper piece in. You can simply just leave them as exactly they are. So whether it is the edgeable on the side, whether it is the top fold, whether it's a stopper, whether it's on an edge or an angle you can be doing it as well you certainly can uh, some great finished samples there on your modern shaped edibles die collection 31 96 55 80 something else which has proved so popular over the course of this show uh, your double-sided edibles now again just to reiterate with these you do need to have your um, special plates for these uh, which we'll give you more details on in a second but let's just show you these uh, that you're going to get within this collection your double-sided edibles 73 set oh sorry 72 74 or 83 94 triple points qualifies you for your free christmas ornament and with this collection you are going to get your heart to heart your dancing butterflies the shining stars your fleur de lis and pretty florals plus you've got your garden border diamond lattice and lily border you get all of those Triple point, saving over £31 and over $35. Um, if you're a Platinum member, of course, take 20% off that as well. That's a really great deal. If you don't want to go for the full collection, you can go for them individually at £12.99 or £14.99 or any two for £22 or $25. Lots of love for these edibles today, actually. Um, Heidi on YouTube saying, Craig, so many awesome demos. I like the detailed tips you're sharing, so thank you. Uh, Mary saying, so nice to get that ornament for free. I know, I know we're nice like that, sometimes. And uh, Shadaya saying, late for the show, uh, but love the jumper, Ben. Thank you. Uh, love spreading the um, Christmas spirit and love seeing samples of these uh, double-sided edibles as well. I know Craig has got some to show you. Absolutely. So again, the, the, the word is in the name, so it's your edibles, but why not use them as your stoppers, your toppers, you know, it could be all your stepper cards. So again, bit of an angle as well, completely changing the colours can then look completely different. But then this is where we've got the top fold of a card here. So you can see it's not necessarily the edgeable is on the edge of a card, but use it as your uh, top fold as well. So great if you want to do a smaller version and it could be a name placement for uh, your uh, parties or uh, for any dinner parties that you may have in the future hmm. another top fold with your red as well as your black just bringing in additional elements that you've got at home then here is what about your stepper cards as well so again a lot of these ones have been done using them so that they are over the top fold of the card so although they are edibles in the name don't just always think of them as edibles use them elsewhere you can see on this one just here so i love how just mix in some of the colors really bold but then just bring something in as little as uh, a butterfly and that's all that you need really substantial along the top mm. if you like to do your concepts your dimensions your three dimensional that you can see there then why not so you've got them along the top along the bottom as well so that's a good one diagonal with your glitter cards as well you can see what about your z fold cards and this is what i was on about earlier on is just making them just uh, elongated because they don't actually die cut at the edges you can make them as long as you want all occasion but what about christmas cards Ooh, one yeah. more as well actually two more there's this one where we've used them top and bottom and use them with the build of characters then what about that home decor go large, go big, something relatively simple, mm. just with the fold back that you can see there, and how well does that look? Absolutely incredible. There you go, some amazing footage samples for you there. If you want to go for the whole collection, you can individually, you're seeing some details on your screen there as well for those double-sided uh, edibles. However, if you are going for your double-sided edibles and you haven't already got your plates, you will need to go for those. We've got the, uh, the Gemini Junior uh, cutting plates for your double-sided edibles just here. Uh, $12.99 usually or $16.95, but uh, $11.04 or $14.40 today on the Junior. Uh, and then you've also got 
your um, big Gemini plates as well. $19.99 or $24.95, but today $16.99 or $21.20. Uh, big saving on those, but you, as I say, you will need to go for this if you haven't already got them. Um, thank you for the lovely comments coming in today. Uh, such great cards, Craig. Awesome demo, says Christy Mahoney. Uh, Rosalind saying, great show as usual, guys. Uh, see you this afternoon. Uh, and Darlene saying, love Ben's sweater today, Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, never seen one like that before. Awesome sauce. What does that mean? I like it though. Awesome sauce. It's like a ha hashtag awesome sauce, isn't it? You know, pour some awesome sauce on that. Mm. Awesome sauce. Awesome I get it. Sauce. I get it. I, get I don't. Um, we're done. We're finished. So us. That's all finished. But someone's saying see you this afternoon, Craig. Craig isn't here on Crafters TV this afternoon. Um, it is the demo queen herself, Fiona. However, you will be able to catch Craig a little bit later on. So let's give him uh, time to explain where you're popping up later. Rightio. So as many lives as I can every single night, night here in the UK. 8 p.m. here in the UK, 3 p.m. Eastern or midday Pacific time. You're going to catch me on my Facebook, Craig Laird CC. And each night what we're doing is we're opening each individual door from our calendar, advent calendar. So today is date is the fifth so we'll open door number five see what it is and we'll also make a project using that product so whether uh, you've got your calendar maybe you just want a bit of inspiration then come and join me later on again nighttime here in the uk and we'll have a bit of a fun i say 45 minutes put it this way i was live for two hours last night two hours because wow. i just got carried away crafting and chatting so if you had a bit of a loose end saturday night come and join me well, there you go. Great crafter. Terrible time management. Terrible. Uh, big thank you to Craig. Always a lot of fun when uh, the Scotty Hottie is in town. I'll be back with Craig, I think, at some point next week. So I shall very much look forward to that. And I'll be back with you in an hour's time as well for Craft House. Uh, it's me and Fiona. And our guest will be Joanne joining us by the wonders of modern technology. So we shall see you then. I'll say goodbye. Here's Craig saying goodbye. Bye. Bye.